<clears throat> this is a very nice Easter weekend. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm back with a maintenance video. Uh, we got the Can-Am Outlander L450 all uh, torn apart, but what's this? Uh, yeah, that would be correct. This is a radiator relo re yeah, relocation kit. There's the box and the diamonds still left in there. I'm going to paint that uh, red to match. <coughs> Uh, yeah, I have it all taken apart because there's a couple things I'm going to do to it. Uh, well, there's where it remains. So let me go ahead and go through a couple of the steps to you know, ensure that when you guys do a radio relocation kit for this machine, you don't have the issues that uh, I kind of had. Uh, oops. So, hmm, I can't, huh, oops, I'm sorry, the camera's kind of... Being a little weird right now. No. Ah, oh, it's gone. Uh, there's the old coolant. Uh, I screwed that up. So what you want to do is there's a there's gonna be like two bolts. Um, back, kind of back behind the shock, like back back here. What you want to do there is just put a wrench back there and just pull those off. Um, there's a new pipeline, and there's with a. New holes were drilled. You basically look underneath and then drill them right where the uh, the old mounts for the lights were. You can see it's kind of torn up right there. Uh, you mount those there. And then um, you cut the hose off kind of where I did. About like at the halfway point where it's starting to bend down. I cut it off there. Added it. And we did the uh, same thing for... This side up here, where right as it started to bend down, last straight point, we cut it off and put uh, two clamps there. And bolting it on the radiator itself wasn't that hard. This little clamp right here is hard to get off. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> go ahead and get the other side. As far as I know, I haven't seen any tutorials on YouTube for Outlander L's. Oh, and this isn't a tutorial because if it was, I'd show you how to do everything. The one thing we're missing is a radiator cap, so we just got taped off right now until we until we uh, get one. Um, there's the downspell hose. It goes down through the hole over there, which is kind of weird. Um, there's a secondary hose going right there. It's supposed to be the coolant holder, but we still have the old one down here. You can see it. Um, we're still going to use it, so I'm just going to keep the cap, keep the original cap on it, and I'm just going to get another one for up, up top. Uh, I'm going to get a snorkel kit for it too, snorkel ATV, warrior kit. Hopefully it fits. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to ride it like this with uh, this piece off, and then that would kind of suck. But that, we got a new, um, the left rear bearing finally quit, so we got a new one coming for that. So I got the bolt kind of already partially off because of the little clip. I got the clip bent, so, um, yeah, after you get, after you get it mounted, I don't have the bolts mounted for, like, right here and right here and over there and over there. Uh, I don't think you need them because... There's a, there's a couple of clamps that they already give you inside of there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of, see if I can focus in on it. No, it's not letting me do it. Um, right here, there's going to be two clamps above this piece where these bolts go. And you clamp it on that way. And then, other than that, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's another shot of the holes that you're supposed to drill but and like I said I don't have the diamond because I was gonna I was gonna paint it uh, red to match the quad and I don't know if the warrior kit's gonna fit on here or not I don't think it will I'm really really hoping it will because I do not want to buy the one from BRP 
because not only is it expensive, but it also sucks because it takes the CVT exhaust and it moves it up here like the, uh, whatchamacallits, uh, the XMRs, it just kind of just sits, well, it, t it takes it all the way up to, it takes it all the way up to here, but the one for the snorkel kit takes it right here, and I hate that, and that annoys the crap out of me, so... Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with that. And we're gonna put some brake fluid, put new brakes on it, and get it back on the trail. Uh, it's probably gonna be about maybe uh, average of two weeks before I get it back out again. And I, this is something I should probably mention. <laughs> As you can see, um, the tiger tail melted because I had the drain plug out so I can get more sound from it. And it sounds great, but it, yeah, the Tiger Tail is pretty much a goner. Uh, that's not, you know, KFI's fault. It's totally my fault. Wasn't even mounted correctly to start off. But, uh, you live and you learn. But yeah, what I would like to do is that, I'm probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to the Honda shop or whatever, competition, who cares, and, See if I can get this piece for the um, the XMR and then run it all the way up to the radi radiator relocation kit. I don't think it works. I don't think it works that way, but if it does, that'd be uh, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, at the current moment, when it comes to like hours and stuff, let's see. I have 1,358 hours on it. Uh, it's been 30 hours since its last oil change. And I have 183 hours and 27 minutes on it. So, yeah. In terms of reliability, I know a lot of people have said that um, I've treated it incorrectly. Well, there's a statement I want to add about that. I treated the recon bad too. And it has not given me as, as many problems as this has. But I can't really get a whole lot out of it, so I'm just going to upgrade it the way I want it. Uh, hopefully get 27-inch Mega Mayhems for it. That's the hopes. Uh, kind of build it more towards the one that Pines has in their showroom floor. So, um, yeah, I just want to update you guys on the uh, radiator relocation kit. And when it's done, it'll... I think it's going to look really good, especially when I get... Uh, this sucker right here painted. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's parts of this thing laying everywhere. There's the side pieces. <clears throat> uh, there's a couple of bolts in here from it. Here's the remainder of the bolts from the relocation kit. And here's the instruction manuals, which I'm going to be honest with you. If you ever do a relocation kit, you don't need those. You really don't. So... You can pretty much base it all off a picture, except for the holes. Uh, my suggestion on the holes is that <clears throat> I, when I, I'm probably going to do another video when it's done, and I'll hold it more towards the front because it can't really move right now. And uh, I'll show you where to pretty much drill the holes at because when, when you drill one hole, make sure the other one is in the exact same spot uh, directly across from it so you can kind of see it over there. Now they're kind of in the same spot, and that's a little bigger than it should be, but no, uh, whatever, as long as it fits. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm also going to do a checkup on it, you know, make sure oil's all right, grease all the bearings in it, uh, grease everything, and make sure it's all up and ready to go. i got to fix the winch, too. It's starting to do grinding noises. Uh, I'm assuming that the... Fully sealed metal gear housing and a worn winch is probably not the world's greatest. Although it, it worked pretty well for a long while. It's a very strong winch. So, you know, I just, like I said, I just wanted to clear stuff up about, you know, what's happening with it. And the way I've treated it, stuff like that. Same people saying that I've treated it bad. Well, like I said, you know, I've treated a Honda equally as bad. I even flipped it. And it rolled at 60 miles an hour, and it, you know, it ended up being okay, so. But. <clears throat> you know, can they got a lot of accessories, and they got a, a lot of horsepower, but. I know this kind of looks bad right now, but 
you know, I got it washed off and stuff, and I tried to get it as clean as I could. <laughs> Didn't work out very well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you want to see more content from me. But like I said, you know, <coughs> prob I'm, pr I'm probably going to upload this one, uh, this video tonight, and then next week you probably will see another riding video for, um, Big Maple Farms, because, you know, I, I like to do uncut videos. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.